Hey guys, this is Hardy Kill Lead here, and today we're gonna be reacting to the Summer Game Fest of 2024. Ooh, 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 some interesting new games that we are probably gonna see, or some returning games from the past. Or a sequel to certain games, but who knows? I want to see what happens. Hope they do better. Now a lot of games that have been like the same for a while now, but hopefully this one does better. Oh, come on. How are you not working? Okay, hold on. Something's wrong with this. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, there. Welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? Yep. We are so thrilled to be here with you, and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube Theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching mm. this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. Mm -hmm. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from creators around the world over the next two hours. Yeah. That's a lot. That's what I'm here for. But let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures which have disappointed all of us. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams and new creators are finding incredible success. Take a look at this list from Game Discover of the top 10 best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. Two of them are considered, you know, big company games, but the other eight come wow. from indie, mid-sized teams or solo developers. I look at this list, it's pretty cool, right? And I get mm -hmm. inspired that new ideas, new teams and smaller creators can and will break through. It's a reminder to big companies that they have to treat their developers right because today there are many paths to sustainability and success and that's what makes this industry so, so great. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that reflected in the show today because over the next two hours we'll have big franchises on stage like Star Wars, Batman, and Harry Potter, but also smaller mm. titles including a few games made by single individuals and first time creators that we invited to be part of this show because we think this platform is important as a way to show you new things that you might not even know about. So when you see a game that piques your interest, Please wish list it, or even better, send it to a friend and get them excited. That's how we together can grow the gaming community. And we are going to do that today over the next two hours as we have a lot of games to show you, plus Day of the Devs directly after with even more indie titles. So should we get to the games? Yeah, that's all we've been here for. All right. See the games. It all begins right now. Here's our first announcement. All right. What's our first announcement, boys? Uh, hey, look, this is a hot dog pie. Oh, oh Lego. The, um, ooh, the lead and unannounced action game. Wow. We see you as more of a sidekick. Oh, sure. I get that a lot, but uh, check out my range. Okay, okay. Mm -la -la -la. Rage! Empathy. Oh, hilarity! <laughs> this guy! Strength! <laughs> hey, what game is this anyway? Yeah, what kind of game is this? What kind of Lego game? Oh, Horizon? I gotta get me one of those. Ooh, sandwich. Sorry, gotta go. Who is that? That hot dog guy is Aloy, an amazing video game lead. Oh. Draw went mad and is tearing through the valley. Don't worry, I'll bring it down. <laughs> this oh, they're doing a Lego of her. Oh, that's cool. And hot fire attack. A lonely hero. Hunting machines ooh, ooh. all by herself. Hello, ooh, ooh. I have friends, you know. Let's do this. Uh, right, a <laughs> friendly hero hunting with her pals. I haven't played all the games. Exploring. Wow, what is this place? 
I know my mom has been playing it. The shiny things. Woo, money! And making a home. Ooh. Hmm. This is kind of ridiculous. Oh, right, the Thunder Dog. Ooh, that's a big one. Here we go. I do like this, though. Very creative. Oh, you want mustard on that? All right, Lego Horizon Adventures. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Got me on. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. There you go. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego Horizon Adventures coming out later this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, light-hearted story inspired by the world of Horizon designed with two-player action in mind, supporting couch and online co-op. All right, now we're gonna completely shift the tone to the next game from Torn Banner Studios, the developers behind Chivalry 2. For their next project, they are proud to announce No More Room in Hell 2, the sequel to the 2011 award-winning source mod. Eight players start separate in the dark, and it's up to you to find your friends and survive with permadeath. Here, is the first look. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Oh no. Ooh, why am I looking here? Somebody dead. Yeah, kill all the little zombie bastards. Hey, he he dead. Ooh, eight players. No more room in hell too. Ooh. I never heard of this. Coming this Halloween looks really, really intense. All right, mm -hmm. to introduce our next game, please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals like Street Fighter VI a few years ago and of course Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. Okay. Jeff. Hi everyone. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. Okay. As young witches and wizards, we all dream of soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. Oh, Harry Potter. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? Ooh. To beat your toughest opponent? To keep your composure in the face of adversity? To chase your dreams at any price? To seek glory for your team? No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. So ask yourself, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Magic in the air. Oh cool, this is gonna be fun. Score! 
Yeah. Well, that's gonna be interesting. That's Harry Potter Quidditch Champions launching worldwide on September 3rd for consoles and PC. Now we move from the Potterverse to a brand new world. It hails from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite, and he showed me this next game a few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends in Cuff Bust. What? What the heck is this? That was like a skip from prison thing. <laughs> I like how they hit people. <laughs> Did I take this, you bitch? Yeah. Yeah, I got my free bitches. Yeah, free! Freedom, I'll shoot. Oh, they got shot down. <laughs> At least he's alive. Uh-oh. No. Well. Oh, that is interesting. That's a fun one, right? And remember, that's all made by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. Congratulations. Next one of this year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August 30th from Ubisoft and Lucasfilm Games, the first open-world Star Wars game where you live the life of a scoundrel. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's Forward event, streaming Wait, first? as part of the continuing Summer Game Fest events. But right now, we've got an exclusive new glimpse at the game, just a small taste of what's to come. I heard people did not like this, the pricing of this game. Oh, you see, okay. A friend needs a little something stolen. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Oh. The gameplay looks interesting, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it Arcus. The dirty. Oh, they okay. Got spotted Lando there. So great. And by the way, I just noticing everything we're showing you so far, I think is going to be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, this year, Cuff Bus. I'm not quite sure, but it's like it's so cool that there's stuff that we're going to get to play in the next few months here. All right. Well, moving back to smaller teams, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say, it is really spectacular. Neva comes from Nomada Studio, the creators of the game award winning game Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. Mm. I think I saw this somewhere. I don't know. I could be wrong about this.
Yo, this game is gonna be. This game is beautiful. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when we get into some of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after the Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we've got lots more for you. All right, next, it's time for our next game announcement. Okay. Study the past if you would define the future. All are architects of fate working in these walls of time. Let us all for death prepare, or on the last great journey fare. Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle. What kind of game is this? But let me first do some great thing that shall be told among men hereafter. Each of us shall endure this world's life until the end. Your names shall not be lost. So it shall be. So it shall be. Oh. Okay. Hello, everyone at Summer Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce that Civilization VII is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment, but we also have to thank you our incredible fans around the world for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. We can't wait to share more, and we hope you'll join us later this summer for the full reveal of Civilization VII. In the meantime, stay civilized. <laughs> okay. Game science. Wow. Is this like the monk one? Or am I wrong? Ooh. I didn't like the dang. Oh yeah, I think I'm right. What the heck? Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, dang. Oh, Wonk, okay. The back Nick Wonk. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, August 20th, dang. Ooh, I'm going to be interested in playing now. Ooh. What is this game? Oh, okay. Perhaps humans were fated to build the monoliths, reaching heaven and returning with a gift. Stardust. But 
mankind was given more than it wished for. Mm -hmm. Not progress, but chaos. Every new height brings a terrible fall. And yet hope still glimmers, even in the depths of the unknown, like mayflies. We die to Ooh. live again. Yo, this is cool. I've had a lot of good looking games so far. The smallest creatures show the greatest resilience. Wherever we remain standing, we stand together. Once human, ooh. Once Steam though, oh, and Epic. And Epic Games. Is that Lily Garfield's Spongebob? Okay, so so gave it up. Mm. Have any of you faced Tyranids before? Only these past two days. Then there is much to learn. Interesting game. Okay. Water. All right. Welcome back to Summer Game Fest. Uh, we've got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show, and I'm very excited to introduce our first guests. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch this October. Please welcome the director and art designer of Persona 3, 4, and 5. Oh, shoot. And Shikanori Sojima. Oh, dang. Oh, that game, okay. Well, I'm interested in that game. ありがとうございます。アトラスの橋野です。今日はあ、添島さんと一緒にこのステージに立てて、とても光栄に思ってます。Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I am the director of Metaphor. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejima. あの、このゲームはね、あの、アーキタイプという他のゲームでいうところのジョブですね。その姿に主人公たちが変身して明日の未来のために戦うというとても熱いRPGです。this game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These archetypes allow you to fight against your enemies. アーキタイプは誰もが持つ不安、不安と向き合うことによって覚醒する力です。全てのアートワークは力強さとオリジナリティを意識して描いています。その総数は40種類以上にも及び。Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. Oh, These dang. archetypes can gain experience and even evolve. Some of them can evolve into stronger versions. あの、メタファーはあの、新しいアルピジー、我々が作ってきたアルピジーのノウハウを全てあの、結集させて作っています。とても大きなボリュームのゲームです。あの、今日はあの、このアーキタイプをテーマにした最新のトレーラーをお持
protesters and followers will gather to your side. Remind people that the same powers they are style they. within them. On guard! You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. How's this? Gower! No holding back! <laughs> now you've acquired a most interesting power. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be hyped for this. Oh yeah. Such an honor to have Hashino and Shojima with us uh, on stage. Thank you guys, and for that deep look at the archetype, such stunning visual designs. Now we're going to jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. Yeah, I hate As that. As Batman, you face a new threat, the mysterious Rat King and his cultish devotees. Here's your first look at the story trailer for Batman Arkham Shadow. Still sucks, though. No, no, I can't still. I hate that when they announced that shit. Got me all excited and stuff. There's a new darkness overtaking Gotham, driving the city mad. The only light left is from the fire in the streets. That Harley Quinn. Casting shadows of rats on everything that was once good. Oh yeah, the rat king. Mm -hmm. Is their weapon. Who's this last guy? But they're not oh, hey, the Gordon. Use it. The Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy my city. How far will I go to destroy him? That game clown, okay. When the bat falls, the rats rise. <laughs> Does look interesting though. I'm not gonna lie. I am looking forward to heading back to the Arkhamverse. Now it is time to update fans on a legendary fighting game franchise. And that includes me. Because I have been a fan of this series ever since one of its first iteration and have been playing each one ever since. Is it Street so, Fighters? Let's check it out. Is it Street Fighter 6? Definitely. Yep, Street Fighter 6. Who is that? Oh, uh, is that Terry from the King of Fighters? And Furry Bethel too. Yeah, my boy Terry. Oh. Yo, mate's here too? Yo! Oh, there is definitely gonna be DLCs. Oh, is that her? I think it is. Oh yeah, we get to see her. Okay, who else? Who the heck is this guy? He looks familiar though. Oh, that is him. Oh, he back? That is a crazy, oh, that was crazy. Well, he's definitely back. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. We were a hype for this. What is this? What kind of game is this?
Terror of Metal. Tears of Metal, I mean. Oh, we got a lot of blood. Whoa. That reminds me of Hades a little bit. But not the gameplay, but the art style. Oh. Oh, one big motherfucker. Yeah, take his ass out. Well, that's some kind of monster. Yep. Okay. Ooh, it's a drag ball. I guess we'll see. This will be when the true battle begins. Oh, did they never reveal him? I could be confused, but. Oh, Black Goku. Goku. Oh shoot. I know I haven't seen the rest of it though. I'm glad I got to see it. Oh, that is hype. Oh, yes. Ooh, a bonus? There you go, Internet. We got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Yes. Now we step into the world of Delta Force Hawk Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally up. We've got a new mission. Operation Lightning Strike. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The conflict's escalating between Havoc Corps and Alsara Guard. It's time to take action. Objective. Collect and decode the mandel brick located at the tourist center at the southeast region. We need to utilize terrain for stealth insertion. Execute swiftly and silently. We're in position. Oh ho. Looks like someone beat us to it. We need to pick up the pace. You like the graphics, though. I'm going in. Shit! Not oh dang! Shoot that thing! Yeah. Prepare for decoding. That's all for mission briefing. The drill is over. Operation commences. Good luck. Yeah. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. Here. Mm. This is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. Ooh, okay.
prepared for landing. Two feet, one foot. Clear. Secure and capture a team in your cabinet. Over. Get down! Get down! Enemy tank! Clear fight! Enemy vehicles coming! Vehicle under attack! Mm. Okay. And now, I have an update for you on Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. <laughs> for real this time. Oh yeah. Legend from the past. Ooh, these get Ooh. She's in this. Ooh. Oh, they. Ooh. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, they just skipped to that. Uh, uh, hey, hello. Love getting more. Love gaming more in. Dalba? I'm saying that. Dalba, whatever. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. That'll start. Like this. It was like a team battle right here. Final battle. Battle crush. Ooh, okay. Another a good good day right there. Ooh, we're getting more of Gundam. Gundam. This one looks interesting. Ah, oh, beta test, okay. I don't know if I can read that. 
you know, the We're last back one. We're here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat with lightning fast maneuvers. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible horror films over the years, like Get Out, Megan, and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, mm -hmm. now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. What does this mean? Odd old games. What kind of game are they going to do? Definitely some kind of doll. Vengeance will take shape. Oh, dang. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I must not sleep. Sleep awakened? I am terrified to sleep. And I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Oh, dang. Amy, I'll save you no matter what. Just go home, Viv. The local police department asked me to help with a case. Why would they need a game designer? It should have some developer mode. Oh, God. Okay, this is crazy right here. This is very creative. Project C. Dark times await us. Okay, they're creating some interesting games right here. Ooh, ooh. I gotta give it to them right there. That was wild. Please welcome Jason Blum, CEO and founder of Blumhouse, and Luis Blaine, creative lead at Blumhouse Games. Yeah, what the, how long is this? Jesus. 40 minutes. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into games like this? What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, you'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry. Anyway, horror is, uh, to my great relief, getting more and more popular. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. It's working in live events. And we wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's what you see here. We're gonna do independent games. We're gonna look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can and put them into really cool <laughs> games. <laughs> Well, they, they, look, they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist intense first-person shooters, or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cozy farming sim. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different sub-genres to explore, and our independent development partners, they feel the same, and they're just as excited, which means we've got psychological nightmares, we have supernatural scares, we have cosmic horror, and our team has worked really hard to work with global, creative, talented partners, and that means for us, that we really want to, as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take risks. 
you know, we can be flexible and really we can push the limits of what's possible in scary storytelling and we're so excited. Yeah, no, it, it looks looks awesome, mm -hmm. all the stuff you yep. have there. And I know, you know, we'll get into when games are coming out, but some of these are coming soon, Jason, right? We got a good slate. Well, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console and, um, and uh, yeah, we wanted to start with uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So, uh, so you want to you want to tell us about those? Yeah. So, Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally into horror. And quickly, actually, Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev Showcase. So, stay tuned after the show. Directly after. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, I know this is just the start, so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with more from uh, Blumhouse Games. But guys, what do you think of the slate? Pretty amazing, right? What these guys are pulling off. Jason, Luis, thanks so much for being here on Summer Games. Thank you, guys. All right. And now, here's the world premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with a retro feel. Ooh. That is cool. Going back to the beginning. Ooh. Yep. Power Rangers. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, this is cool. Well, you can do a lot of things. Go Power Rangers. Yeah. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> What is this? A uh, kid with a deer. This is sad. What was that? Oh, now it goes big. Shoot. Well, now I have powers. The deer and the boy. Okay. What a beautiful game, Dear and Boy, which comes from first-time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that or why we do this show, giving first-time developers a chance to show you what they're working on. All right, next, after a long wait, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is Aww. arriving later this year. This is a first-person open-world action RPG from Warhorse Studios here is a brand new look. And I'd say King of Hearts at first. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes, but God disposes. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> 
two young fellas. I need to find them. One's a smart ass Smith, and the other's a blue blooded fledgling. You behave oh. like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. <laughs> But in the end, we all face your judgment. This is so all oh, yeah. Done, but lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! <laughs> God, is this retribution for my sins? To the task! That's definitely gonna be a fun game. Bam. Ooh. That got hurt. Come on. To the fucking task. Ooh. ooh. Yeah. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Keuchiro Toyama-san. Uh, back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitterhead, at the Game Awards, and now we're giving you a look at the gameplay from his independent Tokyo-based studio. Okay. What the heck? That person? Oh yeah, it was. Yo! You can switch to people? Well, okay. Who is that? Oh. Who is this person? Oh, not a character. Bam! Oh, that was gonna move. What the heck? Oof. Dang, how many people are you gonna switch to? Oh, you can switch to a dog too? What is this? What kind of game is this? Okay. It gets, it gets crazier every time. This is definitely going to be a grand final thing. That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a yeah. reason why I'm called Killer Bean. Oh. It's because I'm good at what I do. Really. Really. Oh, he just cast that mother freaker. Yeah, like dunking on them. I used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. An international oh, oh. organization powerful enough to shape the world. Until they lied to me and tried to kill me. Now, I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're 
the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the shadow agency. <laughs> well, it is sure nice to meet you before you die. Cool. Oh, dang. Oh, we're we doing wrestling moves now. Really? So this is definitely gonna be a fun game. This guy sucks then. They made me who I am. And I will make them pay for it. Ooh, killer bean. Summer. Okay. We gotta try that. How'd you like that one? That was Killer Bean, a third person roguelike shooter made by another single developer, believe it or not, right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, oh, dang. It's so fun. It's amazing what can happen in this industry. All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Toa. Hello, Jeff, everyone. I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to always uh, come up with something new. So after Fury and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Cairn, a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't come back. And I've always wondered why do alpinists risk their lives in such extreme conditions? This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. Uh, Cairn is a game about what it takes to go beyond your limits. You climb a mountain to reach a summit never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. It's very intense and realistic. It's a face-off between you and the mountain. And what you're going to see in the trailer is not from cutscenes. It's the actual climbing gameplay. Mm -hmm. You can see more later today during Day of the Devs, but now let's have a look. Yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, it does look interesting. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Not in my life. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not meant to be here. I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena, in combat. But instead, I'm out here in the middle of the woods, running a tea shop. So what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening. Mm -hmm. And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. None of these tasks are all that hard. They just take patience. And I'm not really the patient type. But I'm surviving. Of course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. And once that's done, I'll usually check in with Boro, the guy who owns the shop, to see if my help is needed anywhere. 
And when all the chores are done, sometimes I'll just sit on a bench and do absolutely nothing. It's not fighting, but it's peaceful. And what's weird is that I actually feel good. I'm happy. I can stop running now. I can stop. I can stop. She's not gonna I stop. Can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> she is not happy. No wonder. Stop. That was Wonder Stop, the announcement of the mm -hmm. next game from Davey Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist coming, as you would expect from him and Ivy Road. Cannot wait to play that. Mm -hmm. All right, now here's a look at the story trailer for Unknown 9 Awakening, a narrative action adventure game that tells the story of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. Turn your thoughts inward and focus on your shade. Do you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The Unknown Nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Nine. It's time we took control of our own destiny. Ooh. Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. Remember stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. Oh. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. The unknown awakening. Ooh. The fold is a strange place. Vincent found something down there. Session. Okay, fall of 24. 24. Hey! How about we see the world together? I finally have something. Something that I want to protect. Now steal your heart. Adventure starts. Monster Hunters. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I still haven't beat uh, Resident Evil 4 yet. He got him. Where is my 
Okay. All right, we're back here live for more Summer Game Fest. The first Descendant, powered by Unreal Engine 5, is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook mechanic. It is finally set for release, and we're very happy here today. Okay, July the second. That looks awesome. The first Descendant will be available across PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. Wishlist it now and prepare for the release on July 2nd. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game, Among Us, took the world by storm and a couple of game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, gamers? Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones. Like, I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Do, oh, you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, all right. Well, turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, there's been so many great indie games in recent years, but it's also been a sec no secret that it's kind of a rough time in the industry. Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among E days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping mm. some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play them, which was the real plan. I, I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff, it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy! <laughs> yeah, yeah. We made Among Us. <laughs> You mean our banks you want to use that? Okay. So um, we're doing it. Hi, 
I'm Ian from ShapeShot, and you may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, Battle Suit Aces. Ooh. We are Studio Any Percent, and we're making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for One Button Bosses, our boss rush game with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Husban, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic Ooh. spaceflight action roguelike. Yeah, that's we'll cool right there. Customize a monster your starfighter, take on merciless armadas, and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> oh. Sounds like you told me yes, about this. There's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. Oh, tell me. My brother told me about this. <laughs> It's gonna be crazy. It's crazy, though. Not dead. <laughs> Ooh. I gotta look at those names again. Up next, we have Sonic X Shadow Generations. Oh, yes. <laughs> A definitive greatest hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. Yes. Yes. Yes, on it. Come on, Shadow. Oh, that is cool. Metal Sonic. Two epic adventures. Ooh. They're doing a lot of good things up with Shadow. What the fuck? October the 25th, jeez. What? The year of shadow, right? A movie coming in December too. Exciting stuff. All right. In the upcoming online survival game, Dune Awakening from Funcom, there is one small decision that unleashed a chain of events which set the stage for the story the player will experience. Let's find out for the first time what that is. The only peace I find is a future that never happened. I, Paul Atreides, was never born. I could
created the future. Until it created me. But I see a narrow way. A path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen. Exterminated. Uh. No, Muad'Dib. No, Lizan al Gaib. No, Kwisatz Haderach. All of my visions lead to horror. Except for this one. This one leads to you. Yeah, ooh. Yeah. More Dune Awakening coming at Gamescom ONL in August. Now it is time to see the announcement of another new game from a brand new development studio. Ooh, brand new game. Okay, what is this? What kind of game is this? Oh, look interesting. That's tell cool. us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay. Here's David Kim from Uncapped Games. Yeah. Thanks, so Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody, kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. Mm -hmm. So, Battle Aces is an action-packed army versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. We want to bring this type of very specific RTS fun to players in two major ways. First, we want to amplify both the in and out of game strategizing through unit decks. And what makes unit decks very cool is not only will players be able to define the exact way that they wish to play, but also players will be able to experience an endless uh, possibility of strategies. Second, we want to eliminate the tedious clicks required to play an RTS as much as possible so that players playing this game are experiencing only the fun parts of playing an RTS game. So, if you want to learn more about Battle Aces or if you want to sign up for our beta test that's coming up very soon, then please uh, make sure to visit our website at playbattleaces.com. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, David. That was fantastic. All right. Our next premiere unveils the exciting new destination for a game that Shadow dropped at the Game Awards last year, The Finals, with its unparalleled destruction wrapped in the world's most deadly game show. Now, after dozens of updates in two seasons, we're unveiling where contestants will be going in the all-new season starting next week on June 13th. Sharpen your katanas and welcome to season three of The Finals. Ooh. If they hit that reset button... It can take us anywhere. What the heck? Oh. 
Also some reaction. Uh-oh. You always got caught by that. Ninja! Can you reach? I know I can't. Oh, yes! That is interesting. The finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy! Okay. Out of the two. <laughs> that's blood answer. I think that's enough. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. You see, this is now the only way they let me come on stage to tell you something <laughs> exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. Ooh, okay. Many of you have been posting your Remedy Game Collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2, so far, digital only, sadly missing. Well, we are excited to announce physical deluxe editions and physical collector's editions for Alan Wake 2 coming this fall. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Ooh. Next, we promised you some expansion content for Alan Wake 2, right? Ooh, a DLC. I'm thrilled to introduce you all to Night Springs. Night Springs, ooh. It contains three episodes. With three episodes. Three familiar, fan-favorite, playable characters in mysterious, terrifying and quirky what-if scenarios. It was a chance for us to really go out there, as if we already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable in less than 24 hours. Ooh, that's already passed. Thank you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. Okay. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there, and yet always familiar to us. In. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. And I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Sean, I'm really happy. This is gonna get strange. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Something was different. Ooh. This game is interesting. I have a shotgun. Oh, God, damn. Well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in Night Springs? Yep. Sorry, fast. I gotta give it though, it was good. Endless tides of time. They've come to these mythical shores. Seeking mastery over death itself. A cruel and beautiful paradise. Where primal forces clash. Over the island's deepest secrets. Where ancient mysteries awaken. Where heroes are forged. And demons are born. <laughs> this is Eternum. 
Ooh. Oh, a lot of games coming this year. It's going to be epic. That's right. New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC on October 15th. And now you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to claim a special in-game bundle for Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. Oh, and really? speaking of Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few mm -hmm. hours ago yep. but there's more a sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look oh who are we talking about why do people choose to sleep it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream you see everything is possible in this land of dreams Oh, Sparkle, Patrick Peak. Oh, I said that wrong. Yes. Yeah. Nightmarish past will disperse. Robin and, and all these people. In water. And the future, the oh, Jade. What to face will never come. Oh. Oh, this team up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bam. Why do people choose to slumber? Because in the end, we will wake from our dreams. It is March. I can't miss out. I'm joining too. Ooh. Our new form. Okay. Okay. I saw this though, but oh, I want to see it in person. My god, what game is this? This is some kind of dungeon game. Healing powers. We're gonna fight that dragon. That ice dragon. Ooh, ooh. The dark of darker. Play for free? Ooh. There you have it, the unforgiving fantasy FPS dungeon PvPVE adventure, Dark and Darker, is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. So play it this weekend. All right. Lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like one. Yeah. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess. Ooh. Another samurai. What the heck is that? Are you like a soul? Like a ghost? Hey, 
thing. Noggin's coming this year. Oh, what kind of game is this? Yeah, I'm gonna probably play this game. Babe. I have Light Breaker. If I'm saying that right. What the heck is this? Doggy. Like an animal. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a fun game. Where you come from? All day. Well, use a crazy body animal, don't you know? Like, <laughs> now we got a cart now. Party animal. Ooh. That looks fun. And what is this? We know you may have heard the stories about the fine people here at Amcorp, so we wanted to take this time to dispel any of these completely unfounded rumors and allegations and reassure you that things here at Amcorp and the city of San Vansterdam have never been better. Things are going great here. We have no. absolutely nothing to hide from the citizens. Everybody <laughs> here at M Corp loves this town. We think this town rules. Why would we hear a town that rules? I can't stop thinking about how you're saying oh. we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. <laughs> that makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. Oh, my man. wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town. All those lies. Mm. Everyone in M Corp is really good. Stop crying, all right? This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues, come on, pal. Ah! Come on, faster. Let's get those movies going. That's not about this. That's a, that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at M-Corp, and we are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long yep. time. Fine. Nobody panic. Just panic. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is this? I don't know. That was kind of funny. All right. Uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest. And now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Ooh. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. We're still working on it. Skateboard. Back Tony Hawk. Don't play with us. Okay. Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Our 
next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players worldwide. What is this? That's right. I'm talking oh, yeah. about Power World. <laughs> I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. Ooh, an island. Okay. I was going to play it, though. Holly Worlds, Hall World, whatever. A new island. Ooh. Ooh. It's what's weird they're using guns for this. Why are you using guns? Ooh. Why well, with this motherfucker? Oh, that one, big one. Stronghold oil rig. A new fashion a boss. Ooh. They look interesting. Okay. That was high on the Steam charts. Uh, congrats to uh, Power World on the new update. Next up, we've got a big announcement from Valorant. Here's Andy Ho and Anar Gilfeson from the Valorant dev team. Guys? <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, everyone. Since 2020, we have been fortunate to serve players in their pursuit of what we call the Valorant moment. The big plays and clutches you make while all eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own Valorant moments on PC. And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. Okay. Riot Games. Target down. Ooh, ooh. Yo. Teleportation. Ooh. Ooh, that is cool too. Alright, we got some kind of shield. Oh, her! That was Valorant's core tactical gameplay. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Valorant is coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S this year. Our limited beta starts June 14th, and you can sign up right now at beta.playvalorant.com. 
We are so excited for your input to make sure that Valorant plays great on console. And we hope to see you soon in the limited beta. But before we go, here's the head of Valorant Studio, Anna Donlin. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world, most recently to China, where I'm currently at Valorant Masters, one of our largest global tournaments and community celebrations. Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so so, so excited to welcome a whole new group of players onto new platforms. We hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Yeah, ooh. So we just friends, I take no offense. You wanna know what's next? I can't lie that kinda depends. And if you say it one more time, I know you love me best. I love you too. Why don't we play again? Why don't we play it again? That is cool. Pokemon. Ooh, ooh, all those characters. Exciting to have Riot on console with Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with us here at SGF. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash Pass. Sign up for Dash Pass now for zero dollar delivery fees and get 50% off your next DoorDash order. Now here in the audience, we've got a guy who is normally co-streaming our shows, Yang Ya, who is also an amazing voice actor, who's been in countless games such as uh, Like a Dragon and God of War Ragnarok. Well, next week, Yang is going to be voicing a character in a movie, Inside Out 2, where he plays a fictional video game character, Lance Slashblade, and we've got your exclusive first look. Check this out. Ooh. Welcome to your eternal fate. Oh, Lance Slashblade? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a video game character. Why is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I <laughs> long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. Don't you remember his power move? I'm covered for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? Watch this! <laughs> oh, no, no one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! <laughs> That's gonna be funny. The number one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new 2024 monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan the QR code now to get up to $300 Samsung credit when you purchase through June 17th, plus a chance to win $5,000 Samsung credit for U.S. residents. Summer Game Fest 2024! Look at all of you cooped up watching video game announcements. And yes, Chicken does look a lot like Ken Jung. And today, Chicken is excited to share a new game <laughs> that Chicken and Chicken's buddies are in called Squad Busters. You fight monsters, collect lots of shiny things, and Chicken has a big role. That's all that matters. And here, is our big ad. Squad up, 
Oh yeah, he was from that What's ad. Who are you? <laughs> Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. <laughs> We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fun. I drink. I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. Come on, get up. I am butt naked from the waist down. So get out of the fucking bed, dude. <laughs> get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because, uh, uh, because. And your sword play time, I bet your sword play. He is a bridge. He's one of the most oh, equitable yeah. people I've ever met. So great yeah. emotionally. Yeah. Also, I've pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I don't think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. Which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. What's the park like? There's more where that came from. Oh, I, I hope not. <laughs> you know. Guys, maybe everything is in a squad activity. You can hey, definitely yeah. all yeah. It's, it's, it's yeah, Just relax your brows, your mind. Hey, look at these clowns. You call this a squat? <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. Imposter. Jinx. 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 No, you jinx. <laughs> Are you supposed to be a lumberjack? <laughs> hey, you wouldn't happen to want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. <laughs> I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Aye, aye, aye. Well, yeah, I ain't never leaving you. They yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. That came from inside me. Do you want me to shut the door or? <laughs> What? <laughs> All right, please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage Monster Hunter series producer, Mr. Riozo Tujimoro. Riozo san. Hi, thank you, Jay. Today, this is Monster Hunter Wilds. No, the latest image I have brought to you. え今回ですね、えー、のはですね後半にですね、えー、完全新規で、えー、今回初お披露目の新たなモンスターも出てきてますのでそちらも注目していただけたらと思います。Thank you, Jeff. Hello, everyone. We've prepared a very special trailer today for Summer Game Fest. I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very mysterious large monster near the end of the trailer, as it's an important monster within the game. Okay. はいえー、本作では,で,ではですね、えー、と没入感とアクションこちらの融合を目指して開発を進めております「えー、モンスターハンターワイルズ」は2025年にプレイステーション 5XBOX シリーズ XS そして PC で同時発売となります、うん、また今回はですね、えー、プラットフォームの垣根を越えて一緒に遊ぶことができますのでそちらも楽しんでいただけたらと思っています As you'll see, we're working to deliver a gaming experience that, immer that merges immersion and action. I hope players look forward to playing with their friends across different platforms when the game launches simultaneously in 2025 on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. はい、えー、最後になりますが、えー、8月に行われるゲームズコンのオープニングナイトライブこちらの方でも新しい映像を持っていきますので皆さん楽しみにしていただけたらと思っております、えー、またですね、えー、ゲームズコンではですね、えー、初のプレイアブルの、えー、できるような形で出展も考えておりますのでそちらもぜひ楽しみにしていただけたらと思っています Lastly, there will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. And our first public hands on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also debut at Gamescom. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's see this gameplay. Captain Presents.
Well. Why are you here? You can't do this alone. We need to shake them off. Follow me. Here Ooh. Come. Some gameplay. Watch out for that cloth. I will draw a tire. Cover me. You got it. Be careful. Be ready. If we can make it to the rocks, we may lose them. As I feared, it picked up our scent. I'll handle it. You find someplace safe. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is going to be epic. Don't worry, the hunter is here. Just watch, you will see what hunting is all about. Yeah. yeah. What's the hunters? Two thousand twenty-five. Thank you, Riosa Sun. We will see you at Gamescom in August. Now, during last year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero from S Game Ooh. wowed us all with its blazing fast combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game featuring all real gameplay. Here's our final game of the show, Phantom Blade Zero. Okay. Cool gameplay. Ooh, that fighting though. Whoa, that is a cool blade. I like this fighting. Phantom Blades. Yo. That was epic right there. Ooh. That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had yep. such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned, because Day of the Devs is coming up live right now on the stream, featuring an hour of indie game reveals, including the next game from Cappy, and that's followed by Devolver Direct. Now, keep checking SummerGameFest.com for other event streams this weekend, and we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom Opening Night Live. Thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, dang. All right. Oh, that was over. We got a lot of fucking good ass game that came over for a lot of interesting games that I'm gonna be hyped for. That I'm definitely gonna play. Maybe in this channel. 
And uh, let's just see if you guys want me to play some of these games on my channel. So subscribe to the channel. Leave a like, comment down below. I'll see you guys again and tell me what's your favorite moment from the Summer Games Fest of 2024. Alright, I'll see you guys again.